We back on the Big Sexy Dad's hub couch. Let me go call it tomorrow. Let me go call it the hub couch. First and foremost, bruh, why the legs acting up? I know y'all seen that TikTok. If you ain't seen my TikTok, go follow, go follow my TikTok, Big Sexy Dad's. Um we gonna talk about peanut butter, about about my eggs. We gonna talk about my eggs. So I ain't tell y'all, this is the beginning. We gonna start with chapter one, the introduction. As y'all know, your girl was feeling grown, sexy. Not sexy, but I was feeling grown. You know, I moved out my grandma's house or whatever, whatever. But before I moved out my grandma's house, when I was 17, 18, yeah, basically 17, 18, I was dealing with someone that was in the military. Now, God rest their soul, but they played with the right one. And God don't like ugly. So, I was with him, and I was talking to him in, in high school, and out of high school, not even like, not like talk talking, but like, we was we was kicking it in high school, like me and him skipped class together. I'm gonna call him um, Peter Parker. Me and Peter Parker, we was like freaking hanging out in between classes. Um, I was skipping classes. Like, I didn't actually skip class. I didn't give a damn. If my work is done, if I feel like I did my, cause they had this thing, this app called Student View. So basically on Student View, we can be able to um, see the assignments for the week, your homework and the assignments. So I would just go ahead and get it done for the week. So when I go to school, baby, I'm posting up wherever I want to, I'm eating snacks and I'm gonna play my DS. I had, <laughs> I had a DS, I was playing my DS in school. So anyway, I happened to um, run across him one day when we, I was skipping. He just like was really persistent in speaking to me. So I'm just like, what? And we ended up kicking it away. But he had like some, he had some sort of love triangle going on with him, his ex-girlfriend and the other ex-girlfriend. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. To this day, I don't know. So anyway, um, we was kicking it or whatever and one day, like, he went to the army. Like, my senior year, we were still talking, whatever. And we was cool, whatever. I thought everything was fine. So then once I graduated, he was like, oh, I want you to be my girlfriend. I'm like, ain't she going to the army? Yeah, the nigga was going to the army. He was like, yeah, I want you to be my girlfriend. He's gonna get married, all this stuff. Like, talking real, real romantic. Like, talking real romantic. I'm just like, I don't know about marriage, homeboy, but we can be cool or whatever. We can be boyfriend and girlfriend, see how it goes. So we end up being boyfriend and girlfriend. I will come see him like whenever I get off of work and whenever I have free time. But the, he was very good manners and everything. But some reason, my baby sister just did not like him. Now, this is a baby. This is a, a, a baby. She couldn't speak words. She just, she just didn't like him. So I'm just trying to figure out why. But anyway, long story short, I get a message in my Instagram. I'm gonna come to you as a woman. We was on base together. Duh, duh. I'm like, oh, okay, so he can go ahead and be with you. Cause I was looking for an excuse to leave his ass. Cause I would break up with him. Be like, what's the reason? I'm like, yo, it's just like the vibes. It's just the vibes. I feel like I'm not the one for you. But anyway, long story short, that happened. And then um, he ended up marrying a girl that he cheated on me with. But then he ended up, he passed away, whatever. And I feel like um, if he was just being honest from the jump, maybe that wouldn't have happened. You know, cause karma is very serious. Anyone that ever dated me, the karma that came back on them was so terrible. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. But um, yeah, that happened. So we, he ain't passed like immediately after we broke up, but yeah. So anyway, um, we broke up and that's why um, like I just taken like a little two month, three month hiatus from like dating. And that's why I met Peanut Butter. Now, mind you, this is around the three month mark. Me and my ex was still cool. We was still cool or whatever. I just didn't care. He cheated. I was just like, bro, you could have just told me. The more so I felt I was mad because I felt I was disrespected because I'd rather you tell me straight up rather than waste my time because I'm not saying I could be with other people, but I can be doing other things. I can be investing my time into other things like myself. Like, I like to be by myself. Um, I started linking up with Peanut Butter. Mind you, I told you in the last story how um, I was doing a little vector, little sales marketing thing, and I hit him up about it. And then he was like, yeah, we can, like, you can start hanging out with me or whatever, whatever. Me and him started kicking it. Now, we started kicking it around October 21st. I remember 
for this so well so anyway we started kicking around october 21st like it was really nice we had like a little movie date little candy and stuff in his crib everything was really nice and he was just like yo like um what happened to that dude that was calling you calling you his girlfriend i'm like oh him like yeah he, he cheated on me bro he was like what you he was like see if he would have dated me in high school we could have been married by now i'm like married in your dad's house cool he's like nah like when i say this man is different this man is different but they ain't neither here nor there so I don't, he was just joking. I knew he was joking. I'm like, bro, go ahead. So anyway, we start kicking it. Like, our bond gets deeper and deeper. I'm like, oh, I think I really, like, I felt something for this person. I ain't never had no feeling like that. I'm like, what the is this? Like, I was scared. I don't know if it's because he was an Aries and I'm an Aries, but that's just what it was. So anyway, um, peanut butter was single about the same amount of time as I was because he had just got a relationship with this girl peanut butter he's light-skinned both parents is black okay his ex-girlfriend was not are y'all picking up what i'm saying i'm not trying to be weird i don't want nobody trying to say this is it no this is just key components of the story she's a white girl okay anyway he has that girl and i don't know how she got my nut. He was dating this girl, right? And they was dating for a, a little while. And he explained to me, he was just like, I was lonely and I really liked her. And I did have love for her at some point, but I lost love when she started cheating on me and like tried to get me locked up, saying I was putting my hands on her when I wasn't, when I just wanted to leave, she tried to hold me hostage. And he was showing me video, cause I didn't believe him. He was like, I can show you videos. I saw the videos and that sh I was like, well, dang, they ain't an episode to get out. Anyway, um, the girl, his ex-girlfriend, his mom was still cool and still like talked and was like tight or whatever. So I don't know if y'all know, I like to keep my business on the down low, especially like when I'm feeling someone or I really like care about them. So anyway, um, he, peanut butter didn't tell me I was asleep or whatever. This is the key part. I was asleep in. Peanut Butter took a picture of me and posted it on Instagram. And was like, oh, look at my bag. Which was sweet and all. But I didn't even claim me as my girl, my, my nigga yet. So, um, that, it was like the unspoken thing between us. That's why I really, that we click. That's why we always click. So anyway, he's like, that's my girl, whatever. And I guess the ex-girlfriend sees it and tells his mom. Now his mom. I don't know how these M efforts got my number, but they find my 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 phone number. They get my phone number and they start calling, texting, harassing my phone. So I'm like, I was trying to figure out who it was. So I'm at work when it started. Like, you know, he posted the picture. I got up, went to work. I saw like he posted the picture, and I saw like some crazy comments underneath it. Then like. I get off work and I go to him. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this about? Like, who is this? So he was like, oh, that's my my ex comment on me there. My mom, his mom was going crazy on me. Like, F her, F that black B, da da da. And I'm like, she calling me a black B word and all these crazy things on this, this picture. You better tell her to chill out. So anyway, he calls her off my phone. And he was like, yeah, chill. Like, this is someone I really like. She treats me properly. She doesn't do nothing crazy. Like, we go on dates. We have like, a good time. She hasn't cheated on me. Or whatever, whatever. I'm like, bro, we're not even together. But this act, I, I want to tell him we was together. But to other people, when it, that situation came up, and that's when we was like, it's like, yeah, we together. Anyway, so I tell his mom, I'm like, ma'am, I don't know why you don't like me. Or what's your problem with me? She's like, cuz, um, you a, a man stealer and we don't go for home. I'm like, ma'am, she's like, you a mud duck. And y'all don't know what a mud duck is. Go look it up. When she said that, I was pissed. I was born and mad. So, um, peanut butter snatched the phone. I was like, you're not going to talk to her like this. Like, um, if you're going to do that, then you're out of my life, period. When I say this man cut his own mommies out his life, I'm trying to figure out why. But it, when I say it's some layers to this man, it is some layers to this story. But that he had my utmost respect after that because I ain't never had nobody defend me like that. I ain't never had nobody, you know, really be like, yo, that's wrong and wrong is wrong. Not, and that's wrong 
just apologize. Give me a half ass pop. No, she got a punishment, which is not being able to speak to her only child, okay? So anyway, that happened or whatever. And um, the girl harassed my phone or whatever. Let me just block her number or whatnot. But I ended up unblocking her number and pulling up on her. Cause I'm like, yo, who the F is you? Like, what's up? Like, you talking real? She's like, yeah, I wanna fight you, I wanna fight you. Baby, when I say I said I'm literally around the corner. Literally, I was around the corner. When I pulled up, when I pulled up, when I pulled up, it ain't no back talk. She won't say nothing. She was on, she was dick riding. She was like, oh, we been, you been, I'm so sorry. And then, and then, and I was just emotional because of the breakup. I'm like, how long y'all been broken up? Two months. I'm like, yo, yeah, you be all right. I was like, just to let you know. I was like, me and him official. We rock from each other. That's my man's. I, I'm going to fuck him. We're going to do all this. This is mine now. This is who I'm with. This is who, I'm who he chose. So we had she ended up shutting up and we smoked. And we called him a day. But that's another story time. That's, that's chapter two. But that's just a preface chapter two. Back to chapter one. His mom's calling me all types of mud ducks and all that stuff. And being real, real disrespectful. Now, her son went out, went for like three months while speaking it. Speaking to her. Now, mind you, I'm, I'm I'm freshly 18. He 18. We was like a week apart. Literally, we were born a week, week apart. Same age, same year, everything. This was my dog. I be at school. Like, I, I went to college near his crib. So, he will, like, drive up there. Or either he'll wait with me or sit in class. Like, this nigga was sitting in class with me. We was just kicking it. Like, we was really close. Like, when I go to work, he'll come post up at my job. Or even, like, when he at work, I go post up at his job. Like, you know, we made things work. We was a dynamic duo. Like, when I say, like, we was really, like, we was really locked in. So, anyway, he's still not speaking to his mother. And one night, he got into his dad's liquor cabinet. He was like, let's drink. So we get to drinking, bobbing, mm, mm, jigging, uh, uh, having fun, living our best life, right? Previous to this, like, this is like three months down the line. After, like, three months later, he's still not speaking to his mom, right? Now, in between these three months, he done been in jail and he came back. So this night, we was celebrating. We, we was drinking, we was celebrating. Hey, y'all. Uh, you know I, I, I love hard. I really, I mean, when I say I love hard, I, I really love this man. I was in love with this man. We doing a little thing, I'm on top. Doing it like it's my B-Day. He rolled over, so he on top, and he was like, Babe, I'm like, what the fuck you whispering for? He was like, I wanna ask you something. I'm like, what, nigga, stop whispering. I'm like, I'm trying to get drunk in the ass too, but you just stopped. Well, what, what, what you doing? He was like, I ain't lying when I tell y'all this. I am not, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I will, I will fly up off this couch right now. He said, you know, I trust you, right? I'm like, mm hmm Like, I trust you with my life. I'm like, yeah. Trust you with mine too. Like literally, I was not joking. Like my state, we had so much trust, so much loyalty to each other. Like it was crazy. So look, nigga said, I want to try something. I'm like, what? He's like, got something to do with the butt. I'm like, not my butt, do it. He's like, I was like, not my butt. You, you want to try something new involving booty? But not with my booty. Who booty, sir? Who booty is you trying to... Y'all, do you know what this man whispered in my ear? Do you want to know what he whispered in my ear? He said... He was holding my hands. Mind you, I kept my nails done. Like Every week, this man was paying for a fresh set. He would give me a... When I say this nigga was giving me an allowance, mind you, I worked and he worked. He was taking this. He 
he would get my feet and nails done every fucking week. I kid you not. So he's fondling my hands and he's like, I want you to put. I want you to put. I'm like, put what? Please spit it. He's like, I want you to put your finger in my butt. I said, nigga, you want me to do what? He said, I want you to take that pinky and put it in my butt. I said, no. I said, baby. Are you shitting me right now? He said, no. I'm dead ass. Bruh. Do y'all think I did it? Do you think I did it? Do you think I did I was in love. We was together for a long time, y'all. He was holding down. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Cause I'm my man and I don't do it. Somebody else gonna do it. So I was like, okay. Stop. I, I was just like. He was like, no, like you got put it in there. I'm like, you sure when you went to jail ain't nothing happened? I was like, cause you know, we could keep it between me and you because we, we really tight, like we really locked in. I don't care, like, just tell me if something happened to you. Like if someone do something to you, I'll go, I'll go get them for you. Like, let me know. Cause you know, like, he was like, nah, like, I trust you. And I just want, like, you the only person I want to try new things with. Like, I really trust you. I'm comfortable with you. And I don't know if y'all realize the significance of a man, a male, telling you they're comfortable with you in every aspect, but to be comfortable enough to explore your sexuality with the person you with. He told me to stick it in there, I, I stuck it in there. I only got that much in there, but I was like, I can't, I can't do this. And he was like, yeah, I don't like it either. Your nails are sharp. I'm like, you the one that gave me a, paid to get me a fresh set done today. But anyway, that happened, right? So, um, that happened like two days later, his mom, his mom messages me on Facebook. I don't know how they, like when I say these women in his life was like super investigators to like try and figure me out, they really be on my top. So she hit me up, she's like, I just wanna, um, I really want to go back to speak to my son. Like, he, he hasn't spoken to me and whatever, whatever. I'm like, because you came after someone for no reason. You decided to listen to someone else for no reason. I was like, your son said he didn't want to be with that girl because that girl really would try to call the police on him and get him in trouble as a black man. I was like, that shit not cool. And especially the area that we live in. I was like, can you see why he didn't want to speak to you? I'm like, okay, I was like, at the end of the day, I don't got nothing to do with what y'all got going on, but I'll put in the word for you or whatever. She said, okay, I guess me putting in the word won't good enough or quick enough. Cause I guess she thought I was gonna say, hey, yo, call your mom. Nah, she proceeds to call me a mud duck again. So I proceeded to send a video of what we did three days ago. Say I'm trifling, I don't care what she gotta say. I feel like I did the right thing because at the end of the day, you're not finna come for me. But yeah, he was freaky freaky. I don't, I shouldn't have sent her that video or something like that, but it just like, don't play with my top. And plus he didn't care, he knew. He was laying there when I was sending it to her. Like he was literally laying on my chest when I sent it to her. Anyway, 18, young, we didn't care. That was the only nigga that. <laughs> Look, when you're in love, it make you do crazy things. Loving someone and being in love is two totally different things. And 18 is safe to say me and Peanut Butter was in love with each other. But anyway, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn your post location. Hopefully, you enjoyed that story time. Um, why is the camera shaking? Like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notification on, and hopefully you guys enjoyed that story time. Um, Till next time, make sure you sub to the Big Sexy Dead ZX channel, and to this channel, sub, sub, sub. And um, join my Discord, because i definitely be on there, and then we can probably play games together if you got um, a game on PC, you know? But until next time, yeah, I'm out of here.